Hello, hello. Good day, everyone out there in TV land. Let's see. Got Charlotte. Let's make you a panelist. Hello, Charlotte. Can you hear me? Yep. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Awesome. <clears throat> Hello, Kevin, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, excellent. Well, welcome everybody. Anna, Angie, Amy, Amelia, Amanda, I'm starting off the A's. Let's go all the way down. Madeline, Marie, Marty, Mary, Lauren, Leah. Hi, everyone. Hey, Delaney, how are you? Doing well, how are you doing? Good. And uh, we are joined yet again by Smokey, <laughs> who is uh, facing the wall right now. Smokey, hey buddy. Come here. Come say hello. Yes, everyone is muted. Don't worry. Just everyone who's a panelist, uh, we can't hear anyone else. So we're all good on that front. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Really excited to uh, be here. We'll get things going in just, uh, just a few minutes. So allow me to grab, let's get, just exit out of a few things here. Ba, ba, ba. Delaney, how's your day going over there in Brooklyn? It's good, it's so quiet. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> I've never, yeah. never seen New York like this, but. We're doing well. We escape up to the roof when we can, get some sunlight. There you go. <laughs> yeah. What about, what about you folks out in, my, in uh, Ohio? Same. It's, it's quiet. I, I actually live in Cincinnati, um, and I live on a main road, and typically I hear a lot of traffic, and I haven't been hearing that traffic for about a week. So. Yep. <laughs> it's been really nice to hear the birds. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine. Um, okay, great. Once I'll be right back. And we got a few minutes before we get going. Da -da -da, smoky. You want to keep them company for now? <laughs> He's so intently watching. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> always interesting what I'm doing. Yeah, come back, buddy. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, a few things in life. Had to get, had to grab a, my little espresso, you know? <laughs> like I didn't have enough energy already. Um, this is great. Um, we'll get going at, at 105, just give some people some time to join in. But for everyone that's on, um, I mean, that's here. There's two things. There's going to be the chat, the chat module. And if everyone just wants to, if you feel like, give us a shout out, let us know where you're, uh, you're watching in from today. And then there's also going to be a question and answer section. So if you have questions, please drop them into the question and answer section. It'll just help us organize things. Um, and Delaney, my teammate, um, throughout the presentation, she's going to be jumping in and answering questions. But we will have some time at the end of today's webinar to go over <coughs> answers uh, with our two other panelists today. So we are joined today with by Charlotte Fetters and Kevin Wilson, both of Miami University. We're very excited to have them here. Um, and they are, um, first of all, they've, they've been partners of ours, perhaps. You, Kevin, I think you were one of our first partners ever, honestly. I think that's right, yeah. Yeah, so thank you for being our partner. Yeah. Um, and Miami has done an absolutely fantastic job since year one. They're in year four of using thank you with their giving day. So I thought for the presentation today, they were just the most fantastic uh, example of, of how to do stewardship right, and then how you can then use that same kind of good, goodwill and stewardship energy to, um, to make the most if you are postponing or, or canceling your giving day. So really excited to have both of them here today to share their experience. All right. Oh. Katie from Connor Prairie. Hey, how you doing? Oh, we got Nova Scotia in the house. How you doing, Wendy? So we have just 
two more, we'll have uh, two more minutes before we get rolling here. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Start from the top here. And for anyone that asking, ask questions, uh, we will be providing this, um, this presentation afterwards. So don't worry, um, we'll definitely be passing this around. Uh, in addition to this, we're also gonna be sending around some other helpful links, uh, uh, a link for upcoming webinar this Thursday, we are presenting on uh, how, to, how to make the most of a canceled uh, commencement. So how you could turn that digital. Um, again, using our platform, being very, uh, very simple, but just you know, how, you, how you serve it up. So really excited to present there as well. Um, dun, dun, dun. All right, one more minute and we'll get rolling. Mm -hmm. Again, just as people roll in, there's my trusty dog, Smokey, making sure we stay safe. Thank you very much. Still safe. <laughs> he, and I apologize if he starts barking. He does think he's a guard dog. Uh, and if a intruder came in, he'd start licking him to death. So real fearsome guy. All right. Yeah, Cameron and I went with the decision of getting a fish for that very reason. <laughs> very quiet. <laughs> yep. I gotta say he he is I, I think pit bulls tend to be pretty quiet dogs in general, but outside of outside of like barking to to let let us know that there's something happening outside, uh, he really doesn't. And it's only when we're here. It's like he's trying to impress us. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because we have like a camera in the house, and he's not he's not doing it other times. Okay, so I want to thank everyone for joining us here today. Uh, I'm JD, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Thank You, and I'm joined today by Charlotte Fetters and Kevin Wilson of Miami University. Hi all. Hello. Hello. This is Charlotte. Excellent. And we are also joined today by my teammate, Delaney Strittmatter. I never say your last name. I'm always scared to. Always it, scared it's a name. battle axe of a last name, that's yeah. for sure. And it was, it was what before? Uh, it was Philby. Very, yeah, Delaney very Philby. short English name. Uh, Delaney Philby. Um, but Delaney Strip Matter, Matter uh, one of our esteemed um, customer success managers. Many of you who are our partners may already work with Delaney and know her very well. Um, and she's going to be helping answer questions as we go <coughs> through our presentation here today. So speak to that again. If you have questions, there is a question and answer section. There's a Q&A module. If you roll down to the bottom, you can see the Q&A. Please just drop uh, any questions you have into that question and answer. Delaney is going to try to answer them in real time, but then we will spend some time at the end of this presentation to walk through and answer them again. So today's webinar is on the topic of turning your giving day into a donor care day. Um, with COVID happening, uh, obviously, you know, we're not on campus, students aren't on campus. Um, a lot of things are happening, commencements are being canceled, and certainly giving days, people are starting to kind of question uh, do I continue with my giving day? Do I postpone it? Um, do I do something in place of it? So because we here at Thank You, our whole focus is on stewardship. We just wanted to throw our hat in the ring and say, if you are considering augmenting uh, that day, uh, perhaps we can help. So that's really what the point of today's um, presentation is. And we are very lucky to have two members of the donor relations team from Miami University joining us today, Charlotte and Kevin, uh, they've been one of our oldest partners. They've been with us for four years, uh, and they've used Thank You every year uh, with their giving day, Move in Miami. So I thought, who better to show how to do stewardship right on a giving day, and then how we translate that into uh, Donor Care Day. And just to define that, Donor Care Day, Donor Day, it probably works better because of the alliteration, but just focusing on how can we just, you know, reach out to our donors and our alumni, you know, any group that supports us, and just let them know that we're here and that they matter and that we're thinking about them. Um, so that's kind of the point of today. And um, with no further ado, let's get this going. So I always like to start these webinars just kind of reiterating what our mission statement is here at Thank You. So our mission statement is to build lasting relationships, especially through video, 
on behalf of those who make the world a better place. We work with universities, nonprofits, independent schools, health, healthcare and hospitals. And um, we really love working uh, with these sorts of organizations because what you are doing is making the world a better place. You are providing uh, education, you are providing uh, necessary resources, uh, and, and many of you are doing things at this moment in your nonprofits and hospitals that are literally life-saving. So that's what we strive to do every day and in every action that we take. So if you are a partner, thank you so much um, for allowing us to do this. A little plug, if everyone is kind of watching, but they're also kind of you know surfing around the web as well, uh, join our Facebook community. Search Thank You Partner Community on Facebook and, uh, and just uh, apply to join in. It's a great place to see updates, uh, to share questions, to see examples from other partners. There's a lot of different lively debates going on there and we're constantly using that as a place to kind of do some more passive updates so everyone knows what's going on with Thank You and our partners. All right, so let's get to a date, today's agenda. <clears throat> we're gonna start off by introducing the panelists we have here today. Then uh, the Miami team is going to talk about the Move in Miami uh, Giving Day process, specifically with their stewardship. So they're gonna talk about the video stewardship and then look at some of the results and examples of videos that they created through that. Then we're gonna get into the prescriptive nuts and bolts of how do you make your donor care day. So we're gonna go from how to get your volunteers to how to train them, what equipment we're gonna need, what's the setup, what are the things we're gonna do, and then once we're done with all of that, I'm gonna give you a live uh, demo of exactly how you jump into the platform and start doing this yourself, and then we'll have questions and answers. So, with no further ado, I, uh, I, I would love for Charlotte to introduce herself. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'm Charlotte Fetters, I'm Associate Director of Donor Programs at Miami University. Uh, I primarily create a program for specific donor segments. So those include our Lifetime Giving Societies, uh, a special group called the Red Brick Society, which is for donors who have given three consecutive years or more, our first time donors, and some other uh, special donor segments. So I do events, communications, programming for them, as well as just helping our uh, donor relations staff with other stewardship projects, including acknowledgements and cross-functional projects uh, with the rest of our development team. I've been in fundraising, donor relations, advocacy for the past six, year, six years, and I'm really happy to be here today, so thanks. Excellent, we're happy you're here too. Ooh. Hello all, I'm Kevin Wilson. I'm Director of Donor Relations at Miami University. I'm fortunate to lead a, a really talented team of five donor relations professionals um, overseeing all sorts of things, including gift acknowledgements, gift agreements, impact reports, uh, donor recognition, and individual stewardship plans. So I've been at Miami in my current role uh, for two years. I've been at Miami total for six years, and I've been in nonprofit fundraising for 10 years. And I'm also very happy to be here with you all. Excellent. And I'm JD. I'm the CEO of Thank You. Uh, we're a five-year-old company that services higher education and independent schools nonprofits and healthcare. We have just shy of 800 clients worldwide. And we really like to think of ourselves as your GRM, your gratitude relationship management. We wanna be there for every touch, touch point of your stewardship plan from the first thank you after that gift to the updates, to the event invites and everything in between. And just some fun little facts here. Previous, before starting thank you, um, uh, my partners actually that are here with, with thank you now, we founded a digital advertising agency we started a fitness studio here in New York City, and I used to sell fake beards. So I can get into that uh, in the question and answer period if anyone wants to hear a really dumb story. And I'm a graduate of Boston University. Go Terriers. All right, so I'm gonna turn the floor over and have the team explain the Move in Miami uh, giving day process. Awesome, first JD, I wonder if we could just talk about fake beards for a minute. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> yeah, no, so Move in Miami is um, our annual day of giving. Um, it's been, we uh, did our sixth uh, year uh, last year. We started in 2014, so uh, last year was our sixth go round with it. Um, our motto is they unpack, we give back. Um, so just as freshmen are moving into their dorms for the first time in August, um, we have, we encourage alumni and donors to give back in their honor. So um, it's a campus-wide effort. It really encompasses 
all areas of campus, not just university advancement, but it touches student life, it touches the libraries, it touches um, really all academic areas, um, athletics. Um, so it's comprehensive. And so our fundraising goal is to raise the number of gifts equal to the year of the class. So this year it'll be uh, 2020 gifts in honor of the, the class of 2020. Um, so each year we have a different sort of theme or messaging or uh, to sort of guide how it looks and feels. So this past year it was puzzles. Um, it was being a piece of the puzzle, you know, so uh, alumni and, and donors could feel like they were a piece of the puzzle. Um, so our sort of incentive or our give to get item was a Miami themed puzzle um, that was impossible to complete, I have to say. I don't know, uh, the designers who created these, what they were thinking, yeah, our, our color is red, but my goodness, there are a lot of red pieces in this puzzle. <laughs> so it was cruel. Well, um, we were saying beforehand that those are coming in handy now. That's exactly right. So these, uh, we had some excess inventory. So given a lot of people are, are indoors these days, um, we're using those right now to uh, send out donors to just let them know that we're thinking of them um, with a nice note. So yeah, it's a nice touch point we have right now. Um, so of course we have a website where most of our gifts come in online. Um, we have project pages for each individual page for uh, you know, faculty and staff can, can create a project, student groups can create a project, and then they can track them in real time as they fundraise for them. And social media is a big part of our campaign, like most giving days. So we have Facebook Live um, events going on just about every hour. Um, we go around and talk to different campus partners who are involved, whose uh, projects we're fundraising for. And then we have trivia, which is always sort of a hit um, is among our Facebook Live um, activities. And so stewardship is a big piece of Move in Miami. Um, there's a lot of pieces, there's a lot of moving pieces to Move in Miami as there are with any giving days. Um, but stewardship I think is what one piece that makes our, our giving day unique. So our goal is to record and send a personal message to every single donor who donates as part of our giving day. Um, this is a big effort, as you'll see the numbers that Charlotte will share shortly. Um, you know, or upwards of, you know, 1,800, 2,000. Um, so it's a lot of donors to try to thank. So um, it's a big effort. It's really campus-wide and it's comprehensive as far as our staff and other staff across campus. All right, so I wanted to uh, jump in here and talk a little bit more about uh, what that looks like, uh, our stewardship looks like, partnering with Thank You for Move in Miami. So for Move in Miami, uh, we use a couple different campaigns within Thank You. So we create one general Move in Miami campaign, which is where the majority of our uh, gifts are entered, our donors are entered, and then we record videos through that single campaign. However, another function we use is batching uh, gifts based on their fund designation um, or their campus partners, and then creating a separate campaign for those campus partners. Um, a couple examples of this are Glee Club, Band, um, Student Life, Athletics, a um, couple other groups across campus. We create separate batches for these groups um, for a variety of different reasons. One, a couple of these groups are often featured on our website as um, a group that our donors can uh, donate to, and so we want to also give these groups the opportunity to thank their donors personally. And in that same vein, a lot of these groups, um, you know, they really know their alums. They, uh, you know, have alumni that are really dedicated, that are, that come back for events, that um, are really involved in the current students' um, activities. And so they want to make these videos more personal um, and, and more touching for those alumni who donate. We have about anywhere from eight to 10, I would say, uh, batches each year that we do move in Miami that are like these specific batches um, that we provide for those groups. For our training, uh, we start out by a week, uh, uh, about a week ahead of time of move in Miami. We provide a step-by-step -step instructions uh, for our uh, volunteers and our volunteers range, which I'll, I'll get to from, you know, staff, 
university advancement staff to students to faculty across campus. So we, we send out some step-by-step -step instructions for them, but we also do uh, in-person walkthroughs of the ThinkView Think platform. Um, mostly these are grouped on site uh, during the day of Move in Miami. Um, however, we have recently implemented some virtual walkthroughs of the ThinkView platform, which I've uh, found really useful and hope to implement in the future for Move in Miami Day. Um, and that just kind of looks like me uh, on Zoom or uh, WebEx like we are right now and just sharing my screen and walking through Thank You with those volunteers. And then we have a script uh, that we change up a little bit each year, uh, but we, we keep it pretty similar, pretty simple. Um, and we have a couple key essential touch points we want in that script. Uh, so first we want to introduce ourselves and then we also want to say hello using the donor's first name. Um, so that makes it personalized. Hi, JD, how are you? Um, and then we wanna thank them for participating in Move in Miami, but also for giving to the specific fund they've given to. So that's another way, another way we personalize it. So I would say something like, you know, thank you, or hi, JD, I'm Charlotte. I am a staff member here at Miami University. Thank you so much for your gift for Move in Miami. Um, we really appreciate your gift to the Glee Club. Um, it's going to make a, a huge difference for our Glee Club members here on campus. And then we close it out, of course, um, in our traditional cl uh, closing statement for, uh, for Miami alums are, is love and honor. Um, so on the next slide, I have an example of that script here that you can take a look at. So again, we introduce ourselves. We say hello uh, using the personalized name we think. We show impact, uh, we think again, and then we close. And I should say for people that are familiar with the platform, we're going to be introducing kind of a script function. So you'll be able to pull this in to thank you and then have this fill in as you're going through and recording through the, the screens. I'll, I'll bring that up when we get to that part in the live demo. Great. Thanks, JD. So what do our operations look like day of? So one big part of our operations is our schedule. Uh, so uh, a week or so ahead of time, Kevin and myself and a few other staff members, we put together this uh, giant spreadsheet of a schedule for mostly our staff volunteers, but some other volunteers across campus are sprinkled in there as well. And this schedule looks like um, several time slots during a, a 12 hour day. So we have people recording videos from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. approximately on the day of the event. And we have groups recording every two to three hours. So volunteers are given a time slot that they're supposed to show up to our, our operations hub and they're given a partner. Um, and those two are to record their videos together. How they're going to do that um, we have kind of a setup in a, a different hub spot each year. The past two years, we've done it in our main King Library, and we all set up in the basement and just hunker down for the day. Um, and we set up stations for Thank You that are running uh, those full 12 hours. So these stations include um, a backdrop. Sometimes we have a, a Miami flag. Um, some we have some of those pull-up backdrops, uh, posters, anything to just make it more uh you know personal more home feeling like home and and not just a, a stark background uh, this past year we used um the bookshelves in the library to add some colorful backdrops to our videos and then we have an ipad and a tripod at each station and that just gives us uh the the availability to record these videos with a nice big backdrop and have someone you know, not just their face and the camera, but, you know, about waist up. And it, it just um, makes the process really smooth and easy for us. And then we include a script for them to work off of in a whiteboard if they want to write down any um, additional uh, comments or anything they want to say in the video that aren't included in the script. So we have two people per station, um, one on the camera and one managing the iPad. And we've uh, kind of tried to partner people based on how or what we know of those two people. So a lot of these people we work with on a day-to-day -day basis. And so we know some people are comfortable in front of the camera and some aren't. So we try to pair them accordingly. 
but we leave it up to them if they want to switch off and on or if one person wants to be the face on the camera the whole time. Um, and we do two to three hours just to give them enough time to get comfortable in front of the camera, get comfortable with the script, um, and do a couple, you know, trial and errors here and there so that they have time to, to really uh, know how to record and, and get comfortable with the platform as well. But we also don't give them so much time that they're getting burnt out and the, the you know, videos become a little less personal and a little um, monotone. So we, we found that two to three hours is pretty good. And we have about eight to 10 of these stations uh, in the library um, in our little hub there. Uh, we have about seven or so of the tripod standing ones, and then we have some study rooms set up for different groups who want a little more uh, private space to set up their videos. Um, additionally, we have volunteers across campus uh, that will use their laptop or their iPhone to record their, their own videos. Um, we don't have a ton of these, but we do have people across campus who, you know, it's move-in day, so they, they're really busy and um, they'll just take a moment to record their own. We also have our athletic staff who like to do their videos in one of the athletic buildings. So um, we just have a couple of those across campus. And then throughout the day, it, for any questions that may arise, we have uh, usually two, sometimes three staff and volunteers um, managing the thank you going, training and recording going on. So we train each new group that comes in every two to three hours. We just do a brief overview at one of the iPads to get them going. And then we are there on site all day for any technical issues, questions, um, and we pop in and record our own when, uh, when they're an open station. And then two other important uh, volunteers we have. One is actually Kevin, who mans this all day long, is uh, the person who down downloads our list of donors from our giving platform, which is iModules. And then Kevin takes that list from iModules and just cleans it up a bit so that we don't have um, recurring donors on several different lines. Um, and that the spreadsheet includes the things we need for our videos, which is first name and designation. And then he uploads that list into ThankView. And then finally, we have two volunteers who provide all of their time that day to approve and send videos. Um, and then they also will send back any videos that have poor video quality, audio quality, um, or, you know, might thought might think they want to try to redo it, um, just providing nice constructive criticism. Yeah, so for everyone that, that may not be aware, uh, with the different permission levels on ThankView, you can create those workflows. So someone can record, and as an admin, you can review it. And if you don't like it, you can actually send them uh, constructive feedback and have them re-record it. So that's all doable through the platform. Great, so what do our Thank You volunteers look like on the day of Move in Miami? So we have a lot of our University Advancement staff volunteer, um, or, or volunteered, except I, I think everyone enjoys it. It's a, it's a really fun day. Um, we have a lot of snacks, we, we have lunch together. Um, it's really a, a group effort from our whole team and it's just a fun, fun day. Um, but we have about 50 or so staff members who participate in recording Thank Yous throughout the day. And again, they're scheduled in those two and three hour time slots. And then we have our groups, like I mentioned before, how we batch these in um, Thank You. Uh, but we have Glee Club, band, libraries, and these volunteers um, can drop in whenever. So we, we try to have stations available for them. So we usually leave one or two stations um, unassigned for those two to three hour time slots so that these groups who are dropping in can pop into one of those stations and of course, we're flexible. You know, a lot of our recorders are um, advancement staff. So if we have a group pop in and we don't have an open station, we usually, you know, make it, make it available for them because those those videos are going to be really personal, and those are the ones we really want to make sure uh, we get done. Uh, some of them are also doing them, like I said, from their own space, but we do have a lot of them pop in throughout the day. And then we have our students. Most of our student volunteers come from our Miami University uh, Student Foundation, USF students. And, and then they kind of recruit a few students here or there. And again, some of these students are scheduled um, and we have a station set up for them. 
and some of them are, are pop-in, drop-ins as well. And then faculty and staff across campus get involved. Um, we have different programs uh, across campus that are featured on our uh, website uh, as a option for donors to uh, give to their funds. So we have them participating as well. And then a really fun thing uh, throughout the day is uh, our president kind of does a lot on move-in day with our freshmen moving in, as well as uh, with our advancement staff. We do some Facebook Live um, with him as well. Uh, but one thing that's really nice is he pops in and does some videos for us, uh, some thank you videos with his wife. Uh, so they're really fun. They like to do videos for the, the top donors that they know, as well as any staff that they know um, and alumni that they know. And those are always really special. And it's, it's nice to have him kind of see our operations, um, you know, and, and see all of our team coming together. So that's been a special part of Move in Miami as well. Move in, by, move in Miami by the numbers. Um, total recording time, I would say is about 12 hours is when we really, uh, you know, hit Thank You hard. We, um, we have a lot of people in Thank You recording videos. Um, all those groups and stations are set up for about 12 hours. We do some recording the day before. So we have gifts that are counting for Move in Miami even before the day, and we will record videos for those folks. And then Sometimes we're recording the day or two after as well. So that tends to be, you know, our staff kind of um, sending out those last few rather than our huge effort of volunteers. Um, number of camera on-camera volunteers and faculty and, and people from those groups and clubs, um, I would say we get about 100 altogether. It's a really, really nice um, across campus effort um, and everybody really enjoys participating in Thank You. It's fun, especially when you know the donor um, and can really personalize that message. Um, we have about 10 video booths set up um, at the library or wherever our hub will be for that year. And then we have, as I said, people capturing videos across campus. Um, so all together, you know, I would say closer to 15, but 10 at our base. And then average number of videos this can really vary. So we have some seasoned professionals with Thank You since we've been using it for so many years. Um, so we have some of our staff members who love to do the Thank You videos and can really crank them out and, and get a lot done and make them really special. Um, but we have some newer folks or people who are a little less comfortable in front of the camera or who really want to get it right. And so they're trial and error erroring it throughout the day. And so they, um, they're a little slower. So I would say an average would be, a good average would be 30 videos uh, per recorder. Yeah, and, and a few things to note there too is, is you know, you were mentioning people that are kind of trial and error and you, you screw up, you can just re-record the video, right, real quickly. So there's that kind of, it's built in that you're going to kind of go through that process a little bit. Yeah, and that's one thing we love about the platform, about Thank You, is it's right there to um, re-record, you know, you're not like, exiting out and then recording and then uploading again. Um, that's a big part of our training is just showing them right there on the screen, you record it and you mess up or you decide you don't, you don't like it or want to do something different. You can just touch that re-record and it pops, the video pops right back up. Um, so it's really nice and uh, it's easy for them. It's easy to train our volunteers because of the, the platform is, is so uh, walkable and e easy to go through with them. Um, and we've never really had any issues with, with people struggling with it. So it's, it's just been really nice. Great. And, and one thing I think is just worth mentioning too, you mentioned those 10 different booths, 12 hours running. You're also, you're recording all in uh, simultaneously. So there's, there's like, it's not just, you know, do one, you have to wait for everything else to be done. It can all be done kind of collaboratively at the same time. Yes, um, that's, that is correct. And another thing that I, I, didn't mention in our presentation is um, we tend to, when we're training our volunteers, ask them to focus on a, a certain part of the alphabet in the list or a certain designation. So they can sort, you can sort it by donors or by the designation. And we, we ask them to, we'll ask different stations to start like with the A's or with the G's. 
And that way they're all in like different locations within that Move in Miami campaign. Um, and we're not re-recording videos that have already been recorded accidentally, but um, you know, it's, we really haven't had any issue with that. We also use lapel mics um, to capture their recording because uh, we do have a couple stations that will be pretty close together. Um, and those lapel mics really help with picking up the sound. That's for everyone. That's just a little one that you can just pop onto your shirt. It just yep. kind of clips to your shirt. Uh, mm -hmm. They run maybe $20. You can get them on Amazon. Really uh, yep. expensive. And exactly what you said. Great way to just minimize outside sound if, if uh, that's what you're going for. And so this is a, just a snapshot of our metrics within Thank You from our Move in Miami 2019. Uh, so this includes all of the, uh, this is, includes the general campaign plus all of, all of those batch campaigns from our different groups that I mentioned. Uh, so we sent uh, just over 2,500 videos um, within probably 24 hours, I would say, um, is probably the, the span of time there. And then um, our open and click rates have always been really awesome from in Miami and really proud of them, 79% uh, open open rate and then a 55.8 click rate. Um, and really the best thing about this is the feedback we get from our donors, whether it's uh, in person, through the grapevine, email, social media, we get really great feedback uh, from our donors about how they love the personal video and that thank, the thank you video is really a special part of Move in Miami for them. Yeah, I mean, this. Your numbers have been fantastic for all four years. I think I remember your numbers being maybe, I think they're getting better, but you, uh, you've had really amazing numbers throughout every time you've done it, which is always impressive to me. So I think that also, I guess, speaks to, to like the attrition or the fear that if someone sees this once, they're not gonna wanna see it again. Have you found that to be the case? Not at all. Um, I I've actually feel like we've had donors who have received it multiple times um, you know, multiple years in a row and they still love it. Um, I think part of it is we have students, we have faculty, we have our president, we have staff members they know on these videos. So they're not getting the same generic message every year. It's personal to them and, um, and it's a special feeling, it's a special different feeling every year. So I haven't, re I don't think we've received any feedback really that's negative about us using this um, platform every year. That's great. The last thing I just want to point out too, I mean, the numbers are all fantastic. The replies um, only cover the, the replies that are sent through the thank you platform. That doesn't include people that are just responding to your, uh, your email, which, which means uh, ultimately it sounds like before we, we talked that reply number was actually a good bit higher. Yep. Awesome. All right, so we wanted to share some examples of videos from, <clears throat> excuse me, this past year's Move in Miami campaign. Um, so this first one, I love these two. Um, I've worked with them the last two years to do personal videos for their group. So they oversee a program called the Lo Lockheed Martin Institute at Miami. And it's a special cohort um, of students. They bring in a new cohort each year of freshmen. <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. And uh, they follow these, these students from freshman to senior year and just provide special programming, um, leadership uh, kind of program, programming and uh, support and advising for these students. So it's usually about 15 to 20 students and um, they really know these, get to know these students and uh, thus get to know the alumni who graduate from this program. And they get a lot of support from their alumni uh, base uh, because it is so special and is so unique. So they like to do their own videos um, and I just, I just love how personal they are. Let's take a look at that. Karen and I want to thank you so very much for participating in Move in Miami. And you giving back to the Leadership Institute means everything because 
you were at the very beginning. And it's, you know, he's so special and we want to see you. Yes. So uh, we're welcoming cohort nine this year. Can you believe it? Part of nine. So we'd love to see you in Ohio if you're here visiting relatives. And hey, I'm happy to see you on the East Coast too. We've got more people coming to the East Coast that are alums of the Institute. So I'd love to introduce all of you. Thank you, Aji. Thanks again. That's so nice. On mute. Here's our second example. Um, this is our president, uh, Greg Crawford, and his wife, Dr. Renata Crawford. Um, and this is when they popped in. You'll see we were using the bookcases there for a little colorful backdrop. And this is just a personal um, video they were doing for our former executive director of alumni. You also notice the names being used in the copy down below. Hi, Ray, Jill, and Charlie. It's Greg and Renata. And first of all, I'm so glad that you signed up to be my running coach. Thank you so much in advance. We also wanted to say thank you for participating in hashtag move in Miami today. Your gift to the Miami University Student Foundation is deeply appreciated and will truly make a difference for current and future students. It's amazing to see the whole Miami family join together to support the next generation of Miamians. And we hope you'll follow the progress online and share your love and honor on social media. Thanks again for all your support and service to Miami University. We look forward to seeing you in the community. Love, love and honor. And you see also that nice button to kind of check the progress day of on moving Miami. Nope, didn't want to do that. Do -do. All right, so our last video here is an example of a video from three of our university advancement staff members. Um, so this is something new we tried this past year. So we had sent about 2,000 videos out um, and we were nearing 9 or 10 p.m. at this point and uh, we ended up doing this video for some of those last minute donors. Hello from King Library at Miami University. We wanted to take a moment to say thank you for participating in Move in Miami. Your gift provides opportunities for this and future generations of Miamians. It's been an amazing day celebrating all things Miami. It is remarkable to see the Miami family work together and support our students. Around 2.30 today, we reach and have now surpassed our goal of 2,023 donors in honor of the incoming class of 2023. We hope you'll check out our final successes at moveinmiami.org. We couldn't have gotten here without you. While Move in Miami only lasts for a day, we know you and all Miami fans around the world will continue to celebrate throughout the year. Once again, we're so grateful for all of your support of Move in Miami. Love and honor. That's great. Well, thank you, Charlotte. So that concludes kind of the overview of, of how to do that stewardship on your, your giving day, doing it right. But now let's figure out how do we take all those lessons that we just learned and put them right into practice with you for your donor care day. So this part is meant to be very prescriptive. I'm going to, I'm going to go through this quickly, but again, I'm going to be sharing this document with you. Uh, and then we're going to get right to the live demo and show you how we do it, uh, you know, when you put this into practice. So to get this going, we need a plan. So let's talk about how we're going to get volunteers, what equipment we're going to need, figuring out, figuring out our numbers, and then putting our strategy and training to practice. Volunteers. So just as Charlotte and Kevin mentioned, you know, let's start by mobilizing our advancement office. They're going to be the first people on the front lines that can help us. And we're also going to want to reach out to those key faculty members. So the president, the sports team uh, coaches, um, other people that are the head of the Glee Club, uh, librarians, all those folks that can help us. And we're also going to connect with student groups. And if you are feeling uh, a little bit uh, lucky or if you're, you're ready to roll the dice, heck, why don't we put out an open call on social media looking for current students and alumni volunteers. You can send out a Google form or a JOT form, something where you can collect information. Maybe ask them their name, 
uh, their class year, and why they want to help. Just something really simple and just try to mobilize your volunteers that way as well. And heck, while we're all stuck here in quarantine, let's get those, uh, those family members involved. Uh, my wife and baby Sonny are down, downstairs right now, but of course I got, I got Smokey here helping me. Equipment. So <clears throat> the great thing with Thank You, if you use it and already know, you don't need fancy equipment, you don't need a lot of equipment to get this going. So as uh, Charlotte and Kevin mentioned, they use iPads, so you could use a tablet, you could use a, a clip-in, um, like a Logitech webcam, those cost about $100. You can use the webcam that's coming right through your computer. If you wanna use a digital SLR, you can always upload videos from uh, that outside device, or you could use your phone, iPhone, Android, iPad, it does not matter. Um, and in terms of other things you might need, a tripod, that's really, really all you need. And I always say, uh, you know, nature's tripod, your arm. So go ahead and just outstretch that arm, give a little, a little selfie kiss as she's doing there in, in old Paris. Um, this is really all we're gonna need in order to mobilize your, your team because almost everybody will have one of these things to help out with. So let's figure out our numbers. So first thing is you're gonna to wanna to figure out how many donors or who are, what's your audience that you're looking to reach out to? In the case of Move Miami, you know, using that Move Miami donor base as the people you reach out to on your, give, or you're on your donor care day, that just makes a lot of sense, but perhaps you wanna expand that pool. Maybe your giving day encapsulates a few hundred folks, but maybe you also wanna incorporate your live bunts or side bunts or lapsed donors, or just people who didn't give on that day but are donors other, otherwise. So figure out what that number of donors is, and then consider that each recorder is gonna film around 30 videos. Uh, now that we're all stuck inside, maybe that number can be a little higher. Uh, I know I could probably get through 60, 60 videos in, a, in an hour uh, if, if I was left to my own devices, but I've been doing this for a few years. Um, and one thing to note is that the availability for people to record on their personal phone at any time really opens up the door to have more volunteers because there's not time slots that they have to be at a station. So there's your little equation. Number of donors divided by the number of videos equals the number of volunteers you need to pull off your donor care day. Let's organize our outreach. It's okay, buddy. Let's organize our outreach. So let's start by organizing donors into separate campaigns within Thank You to help your volunteers stay organized. So the way that they did it with Move in Miami was one campaign for the Glee Club, one campaign for the library, uh, perhaps a general campaign. So think about how you want to do that. And then you might also want to create key campaigns for key volunteers, interest group, clubs, maybe the president you just want, top donors uh, in, in a campaign for the president to thank directly. Then you can consider the idea of batch recording. So this is a little trick. Uh, I still think the way Miami has done it, totally personalized throughout the entire video, is the best way to do it. But there is a little trick that you can recruit, you know, grab everyone with the same name, everyone who's named Jake, everyone who's named Kevin, and go, hi Kevin, thank you, and only you for your gift to prestigious university. And we can do that with common names, with common gift amounts, with class years. Think about all the different ways you could batch and segment those users because you're able to pull all that information into thank you. So we can actually segment against class year, against gift designation, against the number of years that they've been giving. So think about that as you're putting your strategy together. Um, you can also use the video request function to collect videos from volunteers that maybe you don't want to have, have them have direct access to the platform, or maybe they're just not interested in doing that. People of this nature might be sports coaches who just want to record one video and thank uh, all the donors to their sports team. Um, uh, faculty members, perhaps key faculty members, your favorite science professor, we all had one of those in college. So maybe uh, you know, using video requests to just collect a single video to then share with a cohort. Then you're gonna to wanna to designate who will be approving the videos and sending back that constructive uh, feedback. So in the case of um, Miami, they designated one or two or three people throughout the day to just kind of watch videos, make sure they look good, make sure the audio is right, and then send back feedback when necessary. And then this is just a kind of thing that the day before you might wanna just check what your background is gonna look like. Why not send a video request out to all your volunteers ahead of time and have them send you back a video so you can kind of preview what this, the scene is gonna look like. So in this case, maybe I'd wanna you know, move this over here so I got more smoky in the background. Um, life is better with a little smoky in it. Then we're gonna to wanna to get your team access to the platform. So we thank you, <clears throat> you can have as many users on the platform using it simultaneously. So one thing you can do is give every single person their own account, or you can create an account that's just a volunteer 
login where they can all use a single login. The advantage of having it be everyone have their own login is that, is that you can set their permission and then you can also look at metrics specific to that recorder. So I would know how well Alan's outreach did as compared to Delaney's as compared to Dennis's. Um, do you have multiple departments? Perhaps you're a, a, a decentralized school and you have multiple colleges and departments that may all want to do this as well. Uh, Thank you does allow for us to build out different portals so each team can have their own branding, team structure, structure and metrics. So if that's something you're interested in and you don't have it now, just reach out to your customer success manager. We can talk about that. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and create your script. So you can upload the script, uh, just as the, the nice one that Charlotte shared, um, into the notes section as you're uploading it to Thank You. So then as you're recording, that, um, that script can actually be right in your line of vision and be filling in. We are also working on that function I mentioned earlier to have a script function built into the platform using merge fields. So when I get to record for Charlotte, my script is actually gonna say, hi Charlotte, thank you so much for your support of the Glee Club. And then for Kevin, hi Kevin, thank you for support of the libraries system. And then if you guys wanna add a little bit extra with a custom overlay, as you see over here in my example, uh, you can reach out again to your success manager. We can design things that match your look and feel uh, and just add that little extra touch of branding to this campaign. Finally, we're gonna wanna pull in different uh, data points using custom merge fields. We now allow for custom merge fields. So maybe if you wanted to pull things in like their favorite sports team or if they were part of a, uh, a club uh, while they were at college, you can use all that information to then segment the audiences when you're recording. So I can record one video for the field hockey team and I can field one uh, video for everyone that was part of the acapella group. And then finally, we're gonna wanna train everyone. Obviously we're decentralized, we're all kind of in our own spaces. So my, my top recommendation, Google Hangout, a WebEx, a Zoom room like this, you share your screen, you walk them through the process. Thank you is, you know, it, it's quite easy to pick up. So once you kind of go through and try it yourself, it's really easy to pick up. You also can have everyone visit our FAQ or visit our blog where they can watch a ton of tutorial videos. Just like this, walks you through every single step of the process, makes it really uh, easy and uh, engaging. We also, on the welcome page, when you first sign in, there's a walkthrough video series. I recommend them watch that, just if they have any questions about what they're supposed to be doing. And then you can share a detailed step-by-step -step written training document to explain the process. Uh, Kevin and Charlotte have been kind enough to share they will be sharing this after the, the, the webinar of how they operate and use this with their team. All right, let's do it live. Let's flip over to thank you. And let's show you how we put this into practice. So I'm now in the thank you platform. I'm signed in. This is the welcome screen. So I'm going to go ahead and you create a new campaign. And in this case, you choose which campaign you want to go with. I go ahead with a thank you campaign. Obviously, we're thanking our donors. So I've also already pre-created what that would look like when you get to your campaign page. So here you see that I have multiple campaigns, each one for a different use case. These ones are gonna be videos from the thank you CEO. These are ones where we're batching common names. These are the ones from the president. These are the ones where people support the College of Arts and Science, the marching band, so on and so forth. So you can see how you can kind of organize those lists really easily. So I'm gonna go here. So I click in. So now we're gonna go ahead and build this campaign. First thing we're gonna do is add those recipients. Again, as Kevin was saying, they're pulling the donors from their giving day platform. But since we're just doing this for donor day, we might already have that list available. So it's even easier to kind of pull this off. So a few ways we can do this, we can upload a spreadsheet. And here we help you figure out the formatting. So we see first name, last name, email, company. You can pull that in. And I'll also go ahead and pull in everyone that's on the webinar with us today. You'll also notice if it's not selected, you can choose from the drop down. And this is where you can also add that custom merge field if you wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead with company. Great. We can also add people manually. So maybe I would just want to add myself. Also, you do have the ability to send as a text message. So if you do have some uh, phone numbers, you can go ahead and send them there. Or 
you can save lists to send over and over again. So maybe if you already have those lie bunts, side bunts, major donors, you want to save those lists to constantly be sending more updates to and thank you, you can just grab the list. There you go, right into your platform. You also notice the scoring mechanism. So that's our engagement score. That's a homegrown score that we apply. The more actions and engagements you take on the platform, the higher your score. So you can see very quickly who's most engaged in your audience. Also for those following along at home, this is kind of top nav. I'm going step by step on this top nav here. So now you get to choose how you want your thank you to look when it arrives. You can do it in a nice custom envelope. You could use a GIF or uh, a thumbnail. I'm gonna go ahead with the envelope in this case. And as I scroll down the page, I have the ability to update my subject line, a little pre-header that's gonna be in the email body, who it's coming from. Let me actually have it just sent from uh, JD. Who should receive replies, whether you want that to be just you or your entire team, because anyone can reply back with their own written or video message. I'm gonna encourage everyone to, to send me back a video once you get the one I'm gonna send you. And then we go on to the final step before adding our video. So here on the landing page, this is where your thank you will play when the person opens up and watches it. So since we've chosen the envelope and we have all these fun different choices to choose from, these are all ones that come with your platform, but we also have ones that will match your look and feel. You can also write something on the front. So I've had dear first name, thanks. So I can quickly preview how that will look. And as I kind of click through, it's showing me all the different iterations of all the people on the call or on the, in my list. As I roll down the page, I have the ability to add a call to action button. So maybe you want to drive back to a page of, six, of impact stories where their gift is helping, uh, you know, their support has helped you or what's happening, what are the updates that are happening on campus or with your organization due to COVID. So just giving them more information. In this case, I'm driving back to thank you and the button will read, click to see why you're great. And then finally down at the bottom, you can add a little written aspect that uses merge fields. So here I have high first name, you're the greatest during these times. We're lucky to have you as supporters and friends. Press reply to send us back a video sharing what you're thankful for. All right, just to be conscientious of time because I know we're running up on that, uh, that timing. Let's go ahead and build our video out. So you can start with an intro theme. This is like your opening credits. These are all templates you can drag and drop your own photos into. You can choose ones with different animations and uh, uh, text and fonts. In this case, thank you, I'm gonna say for being you choose the fonts, choose the colors, even add a little music. So here's how our videos are going to start. Awesome. So now we get to the meat and potatoes of the platform. So on the left side here, these are all the people we're looking to say thank you to. So in the case of how um, Charlotte and Kevin have done this, they've been great. They've been able to go right down the list and record individual videos for every single person. What you also can do is take advantage of, I see a few Allisons, as I mentioned before. Perhaps I want to go ahead and record everyone for all the Allisons, or if I want to segment by designation, and I want the student emergency fund, here's everyone who gave to the student emergency fund. So I can quickly go ahead and select all of them and record a single video. But I want to show you how easy this is to personalize the messaging. So let's start with Abdul. So here we can record directly through our webcam or mobile phone. You can upload a video from your hard drive or you can choose from your library. So on your library, you have unlimited videos. You can upload as much content as you want. You can name it, tag it, make it easy to find. And this is where the replies, when people reply back, they're all gonna come back into this tab here. So now just to show you how fast this can be, I'm gonna go ahead and record uh, four videos in rapid succession. Hey Abdullah, JD here from Prestigious University, and I just want to thank you so much for your continued support and being a donor here to the university and of course supporting the Student Emergency Fund. We can do all the great things that we do here at the university without uh, the support of folk like, folks like you, and during these times we're reminded of how much you mean to us. So thank you so much and take care. So really fast. I can choose the thumbnail if I wish. And I'm on to the next one. Hey Adam, JD here from Prestigious University. I just want to thank you so much for your continued support of the university. And it's in times like these that we are reminded of how important you are to us and the support you show. So thanks for everything, Adam. I hope you and your family are staying safe and take care. 
Again, your processing time is going to be dependent on your Wi-Fi. So the better your connection, the better, the faster it will upload. Hey, Alan, JD here from Prestigious University. And I wanted to just say, it's in times like this that we're really uh, reminded of how important donors like you are, especially those who give to the College of Engineering. Um, our students are all back at home, staying safe. And I wish the, the most, and I wish the same for you and your family. Uh, Reach out, reply back, let me know how you're doing. Uh, would love to know how you and the family are doing, but Alan, thank you so much for everything. And finally, with the last one. Just to show, as I'm recording. Hey, Alan, uh, dang, I screwed up. I gotta do it again, I didn't like it. No problem, just re-record, real easy. Hey Alan, JD here from Prestigious University and I just wanna thank you so much. I hope you and the whole family there at Indiana University, Kelly School of Business are doing well and staying safe. Uh, it's in times like these that we're reminded about donors like you and how important you are to us. So from our family to yours, uh, stay safe, stay healthy and talk to you soon. So again, this is how fast it is if I'm recording the videos directly through the platform. I also, of course, could jump in, choose from my video library. And I'm just gonna go ahead and choose to see if I have any videos that are Alana themed. I don't. Let's actually go to the next person in my list, Alex. Let's search for Alex videos. So then I can see every video that is Alex themed here. I think that's going to an Alex. So that's how we record the one-to-one -one videos. But let's say again, we want to segment that list. So I'm going to go ahead and everyone this, that is at a university from my list, I'm going to go ahead and grab all you. You'll notice if I grab someone that's already been recorded for, I could, re I could record over it or just select the people who, ha who don't have a video yet. So this is a great way to not step on other people's toes as you're recording your videos day up. So now I've got, 38 people I'm recording for. Hey there, JD here from Prestigious University, and I just wanted to reach out to you and everyone at the universities out there across the country and just say how important you are to us. Um, your support in these times and in times beyond this are so meaningful to us, and we just want to say how much we care about you and uh, just hope that you're safe and healthy. If you have any questions, uh, reach out. And reply back with something that you're thankful for, especially in these kind of troubling times. We'd love to hear from you. So thank you for everything and take care. And then finally, for everyone that's left, I'm gonna go ahead, select everyone that's left, and now record a video for everyone who's left there. Hey there, JD here from Prestigious University, and I just want to thank you here on our Donor Care Day for the support you show us now and through the years. Uh, obviously, these are troubling times. Things are, are not, not normal here on campus, but we're all getting through this together, and it's in times like this, these that we remember how important you are to us. So thank you for everything. Um, reply back. Let us know what you're thankful for in times like these, because we are certainly thankful, thankful for you. Thanks a lot so much, and take care. So there you have it. Thanks for sitting through that with me, but you'll notice that now I've recorded videos for our entire audience. So we've just got 450 videos are now recorded for. A few of the things you could do is add on a next, a second video. So perhaps I wanted to just say, hi Alana, and then I wanted to sequence in a generic video that does the heavy lifting, I can do that. And as I mentioned, we can also add those overlays. So if I jump in here, I can see my overlays, add that overlay, and now we can preview what this will look like. Hey Abdullah, JD here from Prestigious University. How much you mean to us, so thank you so much, and take care. From all of us at Prestigious University, thank you! Nice little logo, so you see all the editing is pulled together for you, you don't have to do any editing yourself. So again, that's the process. That's the basic process of how you would do this your day of. And then of course, scheduling. You can send them right away or schedule them for any time in the upcoming year. Of course, I want everyone to see their videos right now.
So off they fly, hooray. So as we're doing that, I also wanted to show you, <clears throat> perhaps you are just looking to request videos um, from people. So they aren't on the platform directly. You just want them to be requested. You can do a video request campaign. You notice there's fewer steps. I have my list. I then can give instructions on what I want them to do. So please record a video thanking donors of prestigious university for their amazing support. And then I can send. The nice thing about video requests is the people who receive the request, they don't need to be signed in users. They don't need to know what thank you is. They record the video. The videos come right back into your thank you account. So as those are sending, I want to show one last thing. So perhaps you are, um, we believe on Donor Care Day, you, it really is about thanking your donors. It's about sharing, sharing that gratitude and stewarding them and just letting them know how much they mean to you. But if you are still looking to do your giving day, if there is something you still want to do in that uh, regard, if you create an appeal campaign, you then have the ability to embed a giving form. So it doesn't work with every giving platform. Some work, some don't. In this case, we've got an example from a company we love, uh, Give Butter. They're a great um, fundraising platform. But all I've done is place an iframe into the thank you instead of a, a button. I place the iframe in there and we preview this. You see that now we can combine if it decides to work, come on. Of course, the preview isn't working. Let's see. Taking its sweet time. So what, what it would show you if it wasn't uh, uh, taking its time to load, would show you that the, the thank you video arrives on top and then you have your giving form below that. So uh, thank you can also be used in that way. If you are still looking to do something with a giving day to extend and, and still raise funds, you have that functionality with our platform. So the last thing I wanna show you is once you start doing all this, how do I then go and track what's happening? That's where you'll go to your metrics dashboard. So here in your metrics dashboard, this is where you're able to see all your campaigns, all your stats, see where your audience is engaging across the country and world, what their engagement is, what devices they're watching on, your approximate gender breakdown. We run all your names through a gender API to kind of figure out what your gender uh, uh, ratio is. And then if you pull in birthdays, you can also see engagement based on uh, age. So that's another kind of fun thing. And all these data points are completely exportable. So you can send this and uh, download this and upload it back into your, your main CRM if you wish. What's also nice is perhaps I only wanna see what's happening with my donor care day. So I've gone ahead and I selected all my donor care days. And now as those stats start coming in, I can actually see the stats in real time. So as I pull things in and out, you start to see that those, those, uh, those numbers are actually going up and down. So the final thing, and then we'll break for questions, is from that, that uh, reply campaign that I just sent out, or that request, if I go to check, I can actually see if any requests have come back in. So it looks like no campaign, no requests have come back in at this point. But as I check on this, I'll check on this in a few minutes, you'll see that anybody that has replied back, uh, the videos come right back into your account. And the reason I want to mention that is even for you, for, for if you're sending this out to your donors and you want them to send videos back to say what they're thankful for or what they miss about your university, then you can take those videos and use that to promote on social media. So this can be even a way to create the content to make an even bigger event out of your donor care day. And it is with that, that I'm going to say, I'm gonna turn the table back over to Charlotte and Kevin and I guess first say, uh, if there are any questions, but also thank you so much to both Charlotte and Kevin for being part of this today. Uh, couldn't have done it without you. And now, yeah, definitely want to open it up to questions. So, ooh, it looks like you guys have already, na you've nailed it. Okay, everyone is already answering the questions. So I'm just gonna reiterate the questions here for everyone. Any thoughts on how we adapt when we are under a stay home order? Um, Kevin recommends, I would recommend you share your login with your volunteers, then invite your volunteers to a voice 
and screen share, do a walk through the platform. I think that's totally right, totally perfect. Uh, can you share the uh, Moon Miami training instructions? Yes, thank you Charlotte and Kevin, we'll be sharing that after the call. Uh, can you share where you had your, puzzle, your puzzles made? Ooh, Windcraft, great. What is a CTA click? So that is a call to action click. The button that you have, we call that a call to action button. So that's what that means. Can you send the same campaign to a recipient by phone and email? Yes, you just have to put them in as two different contacts. We're working on a way to be able to choose toggle between email or phone number. Um, but right now you just put them in as two different contacts. That's it, Charlotte and Kevin, any parting words or any, any things to impart? I would just say thanks for inviting us, JD, to participate. And if anyone has any questions, our contact info is there. Always happy to get on the phone and chat or uh, email and here for any questions. Yeah, same. Thanks, JD, for doing this. And uh, happy, um, yeah, our contact information is on the final slide. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Charlotte and myself. Yeah, and, uh, and we, I definitely, uh, implore you to go check out uh, the moveinmiami.org to see their giving day platform and kind of how they, they operate in the, the regular giving uh, format. Um, it looks like, do we have a few, any other questions? We have three open questions. So let me, um, let me answer these questions here. Um, can you use this and the progress CTA button uh, can drive to give campus page? Yes, absolutely. So with the with a call to action, you can drive back to your giving, uh, your giving day platform, no problem. Um, if your giving day platform is compatible with the embed, then you can also drop your giving form right into a thank you uh, landing page. Did you have to use FOIPP form for all volunteers? I don't know, Kevin and Charlotte? We did not. Um, no, since these videos are one-to-one, -one, um, we did not sort of use any form or, or consent form for our volunteers. Great. Angie asks, any idea on how we can share out the reply videos? I would imagine we could get some great ones and that would be nice to share with a broader audience. Absolutely. So if we jump over here and let me just reload, maybe someone sent me back. Ooh, did I get anything? Yeah, I got a few. So here we go. I got a few new ones coming from the team. So let's say I get one here from Terry. Just wanted to give a quick thank you to all of the donors at the prestigious university. Uh, if it weren't for you guys, we would not be able to do all the incredible work that we do here. So I love it. And maybe I want to combine a few of these. So I'm actually going to grab all three of these, put a little crossfade. This one will get us through this, and I really appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Have a good one. Hi, Lena here. Thank you. Great. So now I have that video. And then all you would do with the final video is you would just download it and then you could, you could push it right to social media. We're working on a way to be able to push uh, that from this page, but we're not there yet. <clears throat> Courtney asked, have you, been, uh, have you seen different metrics based on sending via email versus phone? Strangely enough, we see roughly about the same engagement. Um, I think, so we can't see that someone opens the text message because there's just, that's, that's not something that we can track. We can see if they click through. So I think a lot of people actually see, probably almost everyone sees the text message, but the click-through rate is about the same on text message as it is with email. Uh, how did you gather them if you did for those, how did you gather them if you did for those who were remote and not in the main campus base? Um, so I think in terms of, if that, if Amory, if, if the question is, how do you gather the people? I would send out a, an email uh, to send to people who want to be volunteers, who think they can help. And then just as um, Kevin and Charlotte kind of talk to, uh, then do just digital training. I don't know, Kevin and Charlotte, if you have any thoughts there. Yeah, we had a couple groups on our giving day who would record things remotely. Like Charlotte said, athletics, for instance, would record all of theirs using um, student athletes uh, down at their athletic facilities. So, um, but it's, it's, you know, thank you is a great platform in that you can have multi a whole bunch of users in at the same time. Um, so it's no problem to have multiple sort of um, operating, you know, people operating in different locations and recording live. Um, it worked pretty well. Great. Uh, Lauren asks, how is information imported, protected, and used? Our team was concerned with making sure information is secured appropriately. Yeah, Lauren, so 
with the different user types. Let me just go here. Um, you can choose the different permission levels that you uh, want people on the platform to use. So again, day of those, those uh, volunteers, maybe you only want them to be recorders. If that's the case, they'll see the names, but they won't see contact information. They won't be able to see emails. They won't be able to see anything like that. In terms of just data protection in general, all of our um, data is, uh, is encrypted to uh, industry standards. Uh, we protect all the information. Nothing is retargeted, remarketed. Your information remains your information. Um, I don't know, Kevin or Charlotte, if you've ever had any uh, issues or anything. No, we haven't. Um, we do use restricted permissions for our volunteers just so there's no accidental button clicks and things like that. Um, but no, we've never had an issue like that. Great. And then Blythe asks, is there a way to send videos from Thank You where we pick the phone number that is associated with the sender? Um, yes. So if you, if you opt, it's, it's, a, it's an add-on. It might not be part of your package, but if you do want to be able to send via text message, um, we are able to choose uh, the phone number, the zip code of the phone number or the area code. Um, we can't be like, I want 617-123-4567, uh, but we can get you that area code. Um, and I believe we're looking into short coding. Um, there are associated costs with those options. If you're interested, you can reach out to your success manager and we're happy to help you out there. And I think that's it. Those are all the questions, everything. For everyone that's still on, thank you so much for participating. Thank you, Charlotte and uh, Kevin. Thank you, Delaney. Um, we're gonna be putting on our last uh, scheduled webinar at uh, next Thursday, this Thursday. If your, if your commencement is canceled, we're gonna walk through, uh, you know, how you can actually use Thank You to do something special for those seniors. So thank you for everyone. We'll be sharing this after, uh, after the, the video is done processing. I'll be sharing it via email. If you have any questions, my uh, contact information is JD at Thank You. Uh, if you are not a partner yet, uh, go to thankyou.com slash demo to sign up. Uh, and if you have any questions about adding things to your account, uh, reach out to your success manager or success at thankyou.com. Thanks again. Stay safe. Have a great day and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye everyone. Bye Kevin. Bye Charlotte. Bye Delaney. Bye Judy. Thanks. Thank you so much guys.